Well, folks, I'm going to try to make a story here, tell you about my shopping experiences today. I'm going to call it, I'm going to have it, I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it the Obama version of Art of the Deal. I went into this store and I saw some souvenirs one block from the pass station at the World Trade Center. And I walked in and there were a few things that interested me. This was the big one right here. We'll open that last. But, you know, I thought it was time to get ahead of the game. You know, get ready for 2017. I mean, it's only a few my, a few. So, I mean, I wasted, I think, $6.99 on my, on my new New Year's glasses. I thought they went well with the hat. It gives the patriotic feel. So that was that was seven dollars right there, and then I wandered down the aisle and I love the Statue of Liberty, and in the remake of remember how King Kong, they chased him up on the Empire State Building. Well, they used to, in a remake of King Kong, they actually had my building picture in the background because he was on top of the World Trade Center, I believe, in that picture. But anyway, I got this just sort of a take on the old King Kong. And that outrageous, oh, they needed, where is Fay Ray? And I think he's a little bit oversized. And now if I could have a ring going with little helicopters going around, that would be some addition. That is real New York authenticity, a kind of unusual souvenir. I know I'm crazy. That one is marked $9.99. $9.99. Oh, it's expensive. But then the big one, the big one that got me was this one. This one, I just saw it and I said, oh man, I only live once. And I maybe, I could maybe wait. They have to see the pictures on the box so you get an idea of what it's about. I said, oh, I could wait, but I really wanted it. I picked it up. It was marked $29.99. $29.99. So $29.99 for an Obama statue. Look at that smiling face. I love Obama. We won't have him around for much longer. I love to hear the man, see the man on TV. See, look how his head bounces. I hope it shows. See, he says Obama. He's smiling at you. So the store was completely empty. There was a manager and two clerks in the back. I'm talking about a store that was as big as a supermarket, and I was the only customer. So I went over, and I began complaining right away. I said, all oh, this stuff is overpriced. I said, these prices are outrageous. I said, no wonder you're not doing any business. And so the young woman started talking to me, and uh, I, she saw the Obama head. I said, couldn't I get some sort of a special discount on buying all this stuff? And she said, do you like Donald? Do you like Obama? I said, I love Obama. And I said, you see the safety pin? She said, yeah. I said, haven't you heard about the safety pin campaign? She said, no. Well, King Kong just fell off the World Trade Center. I mean, the Empire State Building. Anyway, I said, well, there are these pins. It says, choose love. I am a safe place. So we're wearing these safety pins. I'm going to do safety pin ties, safety pin hats. I have big safety pins. But I got this tie today at Union Square, so I read it to her. I said, this safety pin means that I'm a safe person. If you wear a hijab, I'll sit with you on the train. If you're trans, I go to the bathroom with you. If you're a person of color, I'll stand with you if the cops stop you. If you're a person with disabilities, I'll hand you my megaphone. If you're an immigrant, I'll find, help you find resources. If you're a survivor, I'll believe you. If you're a refugee, I'll make sure you're welcome. If you're a veteran, I'll take up your fight. If you're LGBTQ, I won't let anybody tell you you're broken. If you're a woman, I'll make sure you get home okay. If you're tired, me too. If you need a hug, I've got an infinite supply. If you need me, I'll be with you. All I ask is that you be with me too. That's by Caitlin Rosberg. And this is the pin that I was given. This was a safety pin I was given in Union Square Station. So I read this to her. 
I said, now come on, you can give me a better price on this stuff. This is outrageously overpriced. The manager came over, she asked me to read the same, asked me to read the same thing to him. Turned out that she and her co-worker and all three of them were from Bangladesh. So I knew all about Bangladesh, about the Martyrs Day, which is an internationally recognized holiday, which I once filmed. Uh, they actually had a how they had a revolution because they demanded the right to speak their own language. So Martyrs Day is not anything about religion. It's about people that martyred themselves for the right to speak their own tongue. It's an internationally recognized holiday that that is based in Bangladesh. So what happened? See this man smiling, man, this beautiful smiling face here? I got a ten dollar discount. I got it for nineteen ninety nine. Now that's what I call the art of the Obama deal. <laughs> so now you know. Don't you try it. I've already done it. It'll be old news. Thank you for watching.